<laughs> There's this really funny show on HBO on 11:30. <laughs> at 11:30 on Fridays, mm. and it's called Animals, and it's all your favorite comedy people doing these little, little sketches, and they're drawing as these like little animal people. And uh, animal people, they're in the back like, he's never seen the show. I have not that much, but I know they're not animal people. Um, they're, they're animals. Uh, they're de- I'm not going to de- define their show. Um, uh, they're, 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 they love working at Starburns. They think it's amazing how hard I work. They don't, I, I don't really talk to them, and I can't tell the difference between them. Uh, let's bring out the creators of HBO's Animals, uh, Mike Luciano and Phil Matteris. <laughs> Hi. Hi, everybody. I'm Phil. Damn, I'm, I'm Mike. Phil. I was gonna say. I was gonna say. They're gonna come out and sit, and Phil's gonna sit here, and Mike's gonna sit here. Mm-hmm. You nailed it. Because I'm so top built, so like, I always just want to be make but, that clear off the bat. It's easier to say Mike and Phil, but I just want everyone to know when you see the credits created by. Right. It's not alphabetical. But it if you're talking to friends matters. and everything, you say Mike and Phil. You know, it's if that's you guys totally commit fine. to this glasses, no glasses thing, there's not going to be a problem. I like know. I'm always going to know from now on. Mike, Phil, easy. And we're also different people too. So. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's also the other part of that. Looking at what my face that's looks like. The other thing. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe that. <laughs> Take off your glasses for a second, uh, either Phil or Mike. Okay. <laughs> now look at this shit. Come on. Are you fucking kidding me? Now imagine if they had the same haircut, which they did a week ago. You know what? I don't... Don't. Fuck you guys. Come on, Dan. No, but it's because like, I, I've been going... To, I, 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 Animal's so white, Mike. I confuse Animal's people so that are way less identical than you guys. I get in trouble like all the fucking time. This sounds like a Dan problem then, doesn't it? Yes, it is, and I've been it's honest about face. that. my <laughs> face. You guys, you guys have put up with a lot. I, I should Thank obviously, you. but I swear to God, there was one time when uh, you guys were coming over. We were going to go to Comic Con, and and I and I said to my then wife Erin McGathy, I said, they, they're going to be here in a half hour. You need to help me with something. <laughs> uh, these two guys f- fucking look the same. And she's like, "Come on, grow up and Google them and figure it out." And I said, "Okay." And I and then I came back in. I said, "Come here for a second. <laughs> and I and I sat her. I said, "You fucking tell me. Give me a mnemonic device." And she and she was like, "Phil Hat," because there was like a it was like a, a, a South by South by interview or something yeah. where it was like a person and it was like a perfect setup because it was like. So what's it like when you do the thing? And there's like a, and there's like one of you in a single, and it's got your name, and then the other, and and Aaron went, oh go boy. <laughs> and, but she was like, for pride's sake, she was like, well, Phil's ears are <laughs> farther up. Yep, that's it. <laughs> And whatever she said, higher. we did, we did, we did say she, she, she was like, okay, fuck it. It was something with the ears, and whatever it was, I swear to God, like I'm not doing it as a bit. Like you guys showed up, and I looked at ears, and <laughs> we have earmuffs on. <laughs> yeah, I damn. Hi, and it's based cold on out. ears, like did this thing where I was like, this is Mike, and you went, I'm Phil. <laughs> And the ear thing. All right, so that's the end of my story. But the glasses thing is fucking great. This is I'll good. Try. You got to keep them on, I'll baby. Try to stick to it. All right, so, so uh, for me, it's Phil, right? I'm Phil. You're Phil. Yeah. This is <laughs> Phil, no, Phil, I, I, you look a little bit more like Andy Garcia than Mike. That's Thank how, you so that, much. That's how I'm gonna. That's how I'm gonna go along with that one for now. That and works. You look a little bit more like Jewish Hans Gruber. Okay. <laughs> You're I'm not Jewish, but I'll take it. That's a pretty good deal too. <laughs> Uh, well, anyway, so... Actually, no, you know, that fucks me up because you guys both look like Jewish Hans Grover. <laughs> I take it back. Yeah. You're Andy Garcia. You're not Andy Garcia. Okay. Let's talk Thank about you, the- Jeff. Thank you, Phil. Right? Whoa. See? Yeah, yeah. Right. fucking fucking. I'm writing in my Nailed notes. It. Phil? He's got it. Huh? Phil He's Andy Garcia. He's been for a year. Phil Andy Garcia. <laughs> I just... Uh, uh, my technique is when I walk in a room, they're always both there, so I always go, well, if it isn't Mike and Phil. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Bring it in. That's real good. Always in, works. In no particular order. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. All right. Enough about that. No, no, no. Let's talk about... Let's talk about how important? Guys. How important is it to be a writer, especially in animation, to have a beard? <laughs> I think it's a, uh, yeah, it's a necessity. You have to. Am I the only guy it's, in Hollywood that doesn't have a beard? And, and also, is the reason why I don't want to get up in the morning and write is because I I can't grow a good beard. I I, I grow a very patchy Johnny Depp. Uh, who was that Asian guy in the red carpet who had the worst patchiest beard of all time? I grow that kind of beard. 
So Jackie Chan. If I grew, if I, I grew a sexy beard, what, would I be a better writer? Is the question I have. You. Yes. You. Yes. Yeah. It's, it's good Says problem. Dave yes. Klein, who has a giant beard. <laughs> All right, so like, what was it? A year and a half ago, you guys, yeah. like, you, know, you guys had this thing on the internet: pictures of animals, dry comedy, like, yes. like uh, eight frames per hour <laughs> yeah, in terms yeah, of glacial, like, because like, it's just like drawing of animal doing setup, like, 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 like doing kind of like, like very I'm, organic I'm gonna, and kind of improv I'm, style. I'm gonna get a soda. Oh fuck, he's so jealous because there's people that draw up here. It's just, I just, yes. I mean, it's I'm just sitting here and it's hot. Well, go I'm get, get a soda. A soda. Yes. No, yes. no offense. Oh, okay. None, none too. No, yeah. yeah, come back though. I, I'll, I'll, I'll come back really That's quietly fine. and I won't interrupt. I get you. it. But, no, I get it. <laughs> yeah. Got yeah. the old Harmontown standbys up here. Yeah. Then these two young guys walk in, mm -hmm. throw it all for a loop. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, I'm not Kumail, you guys. <laughs> No, me, if, you, if, you if, just if you're very, we have an HBO show if, too, if, though. So, shh, 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 shh. If, if you're all very quiet, if you're all very quiet, being, so, being TV, you can animated. see something you very rarely see in nature. What? The Rob Schraub going out to get a soda. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, yeah, to, the, to be a, to be an artist and to invoke the Schraub passive aggression is like that str that strongman bell that you ring. Like you guys said, <laughs> right he, to the top. He wouldn't be intimidated if you guys just doodled something on a napkin. Yeah. You guys are in HBO, and he was like, "Fuck, what am I doing with my life?" <laughs> I gotta go. Too. I got two, baby. That's good. But you guys, you guys are self-starters. You're like the weekend, the right, the guy, not the t two days. Right? The concept. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the one guy. This is all. Uh, this is po post-internet. Like, oh, these guys on the internet do the thing. Now it's really is the way it works. Like, you guys are self-starting yeah. internet dudes. Like you, you started doing this thing as it is on the internet, following your passion, yeah. making yourselves laugh. Channel 101. Then yeah. went to whoa, whoa. Channel New one. York. Channel 101, New York, baby. Whoa. Then went to uh, weird take. What was it? The New York TV Festival. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Where Mitch Hurwitz was like, "You guys are awesome." Yeah, and the Duplass we were... brothers were like, "You guys are awesome." Yeah. yeah. What, what is Mitch's stake now? Oh, no, he did a voice um, in two episodes. He's he's my dad in an episode, but he. Um, but does he like? He does he? Does, no, he's. Do got, you guys have to send money from the budget to the show to, <laughs> to, to, to him? No, okay, no, no. Okay. He's got nothing to do with it anymore. We partnered with the Duplass Bros, so those guys are our executive producers and how we were able to make a bunch of episodes independently for like a year before we partnered with Starbucks to finish it out and sell it to HBO. And we just give you a little home to keep you off the street. You did. And, and it's I so think it's nice there. that I don't do anything on your show. I think That's it's kind of cool because we just kind of pass in the halls and especially when Rick and Morty was there too. It's just like, I don't know, it's a little gang. Yeah. It's lovely. And you see me and you go, boy, there's Dan. Like... He doesn't. He's not gonna come in here and tell us how to draw an animal. Yeah. Well, that wouldn't be any of my business. <laughs> yeah. I'm not lazy. No, you're not. You're there late, and I've seen you there very early from like the night before. It yeah. seems like Dan, you're a little hands off on the show. I mean, you don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good thing. It's a good thing. Huh? You I was, came out to us. You're, you're... I thought you were a workaholic. I thought that was your gimmick. That you 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 care too much. You work too hard. Well, the first time he came out to us, he rolled up his sleeves and he was like, "What can I do to help?" <laughs> I did. I did. I did. I did. And, it's a sandwich. And then you know, I did have that meeting with you guys. Need, he just needs. I don't know. He's, he's pretty did cool. It's nice. But then yeah. I didn't see him for a long Ma time. Mike, Mike, is Dan Mike, Harmon a PA? Da here? Dan doesn't have <laughs> sleeves. Dan's never had sleeves. Yeah. But did you? I do remember that conversation because we talked for a half hour. I was like, "These guys seem like cool guys." You already had it. There are already guys in the building. It's like a different relationship. It's like, like you guys said, like the Duplass brothers were like, you guys should do your thing. They were your benefactors, and you guys tried as hard as you could to do it literally by yourselves. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then it was like, holy shit, we're going to go insane. So it's just you really, they're more tenants. They're not like, it's not like they're, it's not, they're not a brainchild of Starbirds. Starbirds yeah. is just their, a building where they get to work. But, but I, nevertheless, because I love creativity and because I'm sort of a, a, a just a wonderful person. I, I, so good. And because you never know, you guys could give me a job one day. I don't I have no idea. You can't, that's what Hollywood's about. You get a, you, 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 you don't say no to anything. I bring you in my office. I said, if there's any, ever anything I can do, and you guys are like, great. But you've never needed anything. No, not really. I mean, part of part of why, why are we, we with you guys. <laughs> it's well, a building. You no, know, we we when we went around to try to like find the animation studio that was going to help us because initially we made the first two episodes of our show that just aired on TV two weeks ago, literally in an apartment that Phil and I lived with. 
huh? Four weeks ago. Four weeks ago, started, whatever yeah. it was. Um, and I would listen to Harmon Towns when I was making it, so it's very bizarre to be up here. It was really sweet. It's a weird thing. What? But um, but shut up, you. <laughs> I know you. Yeah. I listen to Harmon Towns. Okay. Yeah. I'm on the subreddit. You're not gonna take this away from me. Yeah. I work too hard for this. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. My, Mike Luciano was the first person to realize, or up here, that Adam Goldberg's in the audience. Yeah. Dan, that I'm was Phil. That, that was Phil. You called me Mike. Phil, Phil is Andy Garcia. Yeah, they're gonna be Phil a lot of. Phil is Andy Garcia. Yeah, they're gonna be a bunch of Andy Garcia. Mike stuff. is Neil Berkeley. Yeah. You see what you did? Mike Neil Berkeley, Phil Andy Garcia. This is the problem. This is the problem that keeps happening. My mnemonic device keeps being the guy that doesn't look like a Phil is the Phil. That, and I keep flipping it. So back I look and forth. like a Phil. Tonight I, I walked like into the green room and it was like, "Cause you look like a Mike." Thank you. <laughs> Phil is an that asshole is a name. Every dumb dad or every fucking fool in a commercial is named Phil. Yeah. It's it's kind of hack. I can't. Is. I, I, Being I, named I, hit, Phil is. is hack. It's like a main character name, <laughs> Phil. But, now, now, Dan, like, just yeah. invert that in your mind. Like, like he's the non-intuitive Phil. Like, like, like that, that's your connection now. I mean, the original thing, I started panicking that first meeting. You guys remember, I was like looking at your shoes because I was like, Mike's wearing Nikes. What are the odds he'll continue to wear Nikes? Yeah. And then they fucking like we, switch, we go all yeah. crazy. Because because obviously that's the first thing that happens when you get successful. You're like, how many shoes? Yeah, can I? Oh, exactly. I that's the first, so number many one. Shoes. <laughs> I am no real reach, yes. so I'm trying to buy up um, the whole Ma- shoe story. Mike go and, ahead, Mike and Phil. Uh, how do you guys know each other? What's what's your origin story? We met at an ad agency in New York um, that we both worked at. We just kind of started doing this thing weekends, nights, and. Um, it sort of snowballed. And what's the dynamic between the two of you? One guy's the one guy's the more the, the dry guy, and one guy's yeah. the, the over the shoulder co- comedy it's guy. A lot of tension, like, generally. I mean, you know, just a friendship tension. What did you say? Oh, tension. Tension. <laughs> yeah. Who's the shrub and who's the harman? I'm the shrub, and I wouldn't say he's the shra- harman necessarily because right. I want to be the harman. <laughs> but um, yeah, I do the drawing. Mike does the editing of the dialogue because it's improvised. Our show. Um, so that's actually a huge, or it's like a b- big, big step, I would say. Um, and we write it. We write everything together. We write all the episodes. And um, do you guys we, ever fight? Do you guys have tension in the uh, in, the edit, in the edit bay? Or we're writing season two now, and that's the most difficult part. Is like, it's so much of writing is sitting there quietly resenting the other person for not agreeing <laughs> with everything you're saying. Yeah. It's so you're fundamentally like for your experience. Yeah. Yes. I man. heard you and Justin um, at that oh, one yeah. ro- live recording. That was amazing. And that made me feel so good yeah, knowing totally. that you guys Dude, like you hate each no other too. Not, not to pull rank in a in a in a format sense, but this is essentially a sketch show. I know you guys do like, oh, yeah. More, yeah, yeah, like larger yeah. things, but like fucking story breaking. Like yeah. if, if it's it's like it's an exercise in frustration. It's an Asperger friendly format. It's like, <laughs> but then it's like 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 not when I say Asperger friendly, I don't mean that. It, I don't mean that it's like it causes joy. Yeah, it's yeah, just yeah. like, but it's like. You have to have an attention surplus to story break. If you have an attention deficit, and I'm not saying that anyone clinically does, Justin, Ryan, like, 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 I mean, did you it's just like, fart two times? I just farted. Yeah. Oh, you fucking farted. Mike, Mike, Mike. But Justin is like, like you guys have hung out with Justin. Like, yeah. he's, he's, his genius is from his fucking like. He cannot like. He gets yeah. bored so quickly. So <laughs> bored. He gets so bored. Uh, he's a bored guy. Rob Shroud's back. Everybody, welcome back, Rob. Yeah. Hey, Rob, you you want to tell us briefly about your adventures while you were away? <laughs> yeah, I got a a, a a a delicious, actually incredibly refreshing uh, Sprite drink from the concession. <laughs> Uh, uh, area over there. Uh, I um, they they offered not to uh, 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 let me pay for it, but I gave him a tip anyway. That was fun. And then uh, I saw Abed Gaith there. We shook hands. Yeah, I think um, I think Abed had a had a thing like like, like I, I invited him to the show because he had a thing you wanted to talk about. Oh, you fu- <laughs> now, sorry to burp. That was now, gross to now, see that this close. When you burp, uh, do you also pee? What happens? <laughs> 
What happens? <laughs> what, what are you I'm hiding? Three from Stooges us? bathroom. <laughs> Not everything is connected to a lateral thing. I don't always <laughs> fart when I cough. Does that make? I, I we, thought we're when trying I, to find out what the how the plumbing works. Doesn't uh, doesn't everyone every once in a while while you're coughing fart? Doesn't yes. isn't that something that happens? It's a push. My, There's a lot of stuff. My, no. my question was when that happens and you're one foot from someone. Do what is your like like do you say if, if you cough and fart you should disclose that I farted so you're not trying to bury the lead on that one yeah I, I think you're being the, a good a good person for that but sometimes you you then the context can come in like you could be on a first date like just try not to cough I guess I don't yeah, know. yeah 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 <laughs> coughs are dangerous or turn up the music you. but you know what first dates that's the what am I talking about fucking first date if that's what's gonna happen. <laughs> That was that was the chair. That was the chair. <laughs> Who's chair? Right now you do the first thing is the first date thing where you go. Oh, I swear to God, it was the fucking chair, baby. <laughs> uh, wait, what else am I curious about with, with with animals? What kind of animals did you get? No, oh, this is what I'm really curious about as a writer because I know because I've I've, I've I've seen the show. A lot of these people have probably seen How the show. How many people have on. actually seen it? Yeah, cool, okay. great. It's thank you. It's, I, that's not enough for, for the enough. for the listeners that only are hearing this podcast. Uh, out on audio, more people raise their hands than clap. So, yeah. <laughs> I didn't specify, so... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, what I am curious about, because it's got that very organic style, there's obviously clearly a lot of improv happening, and I'm very curious, because you guys have all these... You have A-list like comedy people coming in to the Starburns uh, recording That's booth right. in beautiful downtown Burbank. Uh, what A-listers? Uh, Aziz Ansari, Chelsea Peretti... Uh, Molly Shannon, Jess- Ma- Jessica Chastain, Chastain, Danny McBride... Manzukas, yeah, Kroll. Um, John Lovitz is a good friend of mine now. Um, <laughs> yeah, great friend. He's, uh, he's, he's awesome. He's got to come on this show. Um, the guy's he's like, so awesome, God. dude. Like he was unbelievable. Hmm. Thank you, buddy. Uh, but but so the question is: Are you gonna kill me? <laughs> <laughs> You're like barely too drunk, and it's just man, there's a contentiousness coming from that general vicinity. <laughs> Go ahead. Oh Sorry. It's it's also it's magnified though when you're under lights and you when you hear voices from out there. It it it, it the the that dynamic adds ten pounds of contempt. Yeah. Yeah. Big, oh, so big. maybe I'm hearing it wrong because you always are thinking like, why am I? talking? talking to a microphone if you hear anybody it could be going like I'm diabetic and I'm going into shock right now or something like that. if you just hear a voice you're like hey fuck you lady <laughs> <laughs> shut the fuck up because um, you just hear the word shock and you're like shock fuck you I don't care about your politically correct bullshit what do you want a trigger warning it's just like no I need insulin <laughs> <laughs> shocking um, aww <laughs> I shouldn't have done that. No, I, I, a, wait, I wait, wait, stop, that. stop! Don't, because I, I want to finish okay, what yeah, I took. Yeah. Like, because I, I had an actual. I, I, this is a first for me. I have an actual question for people I'm interviewing that I'm actually interested in. Because I really want to know. Uh, like, like. So, as, R- Rob, how's your sprite? Was it delicious? Yeah, it's really good. It's so good. It looks yeah. really good. It's, it's still chilled. Cold, okay. cold, and refreshing. I prefer it in the aluminum can. I'm more of a the, Seven Up guy, but you yeah. like you like Sprite. I I, I prefer Seven Up, but it's just not as common yeah, as it you used prefer. To be. Seven up. Here's something that I noticed uh, on the. On the oh, fuck. Who's that guy? He segued into a new. Schreiber. What's this guy? Happening. Liv Schreiber. Liv Schreiber. Liv Schreiber. <laughs> yeah. Do you know who I'm talking? Liv Schreiber. Liv Schreiber. Liv Schreiber. He always looks put off. Remember? He yeah. Came, he came out and he went. He went. For, he he went because he said. Cause he we, said lost it, he said we lost Dan. We lost Dan. We lost Mike, Dan to go. Rob. I was gonna. I wasn't even gonna bring it up because it was such a nuanced thing. Because Liv Schreiber came out and he. I said to Cody, I was watching the Oscars because Liv Schreiber said like. Uh, he said like. Uh, Production design is very important in Hollywood, and, the, and when he said it, his face looked like he really. The reason he was saying it is like I don't get why, <laughs> like he was that it was a pet peeve of his, like like as if he was saying like 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 misogyny is as American as apple pie, like like he was like making a like he was being like upset, like, it's like like production design is and he was like like it's like Leif Schreiber has some, something's going on with him. He's he's very put off. Maybe he's nearsighted and he's having trouble with the prompter. It could yeah. be. But I also... Like Benicio Del Toro looking amused is the most terrifying he's ever looked, which could be the secret of this thing. He might look in the mirror and like when somebody makes him laugh, he goes like, oh, God, that's not good Benicio. <laughs> we caught him tonight because they did a prop bit with a bear and it cut back to him and he was like... <laughs> 
and it was like, oh, Benicio, mystery, gone. Do you think he thought it was like a, a, a Wolfman reference? And he was like... <laughs> Yeah, he's an actor. He he thought like, what does a cat think when you run the uh, can opener? You know, he thought right. He thought there's food like. Or right, are there any actors in the audience? I'm sorry. Right, so, so Dan, care Dan, <laughs> you, you, you're making a point just before that. I well, no, I wanted to interview our fucking guests. You, oh, this no, is for one good. question. You, 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 this you, is not a tangent. I, the reason that I was talking about what's his Lee, Lee, Liv, what is he pronounce? Lee Schreiber. Lee Schreiber. He looks like he smells like Cherry Seven Up. <laughs> He, he looks anyone? like he smells like it. He looks like, yeah. he looks like he smells like cherry stuff. I haven't been next to him, so I can't. I look at cherry. him on TV, okay. and I. That's what they like do. He they, might they do smell that. like Cherry yeah. Seven Up. They do that. That's exercise they do at art school. Like the professor walks and goes, "I want you to draw something that looks like it smells like something." <laughs> Mr. Schraub, what do you? <laughs> do you have any? Do you have something better to do than than draw something that smells like something? <laughs> what is it you're drawing? Let's, uh, let's share it with the class. <laughs> It's a perfect drawing. He's of drawing Schreiber. robots. It's Liv Schreiber to a T. Man, it's so weird being inside of a Harmon town and just having it happen around you. Uh, my question was, when you guys, when, and I, because there's, it's a ton of organic, improvised kind of material. You guys have both parties in a booth. If you're doing a two-person scene, right? They go yeah. back and forth. And we're in it too. What yeah. do the scripts look like when they're ready to be recorded? It's like 12 to 15 pages, and it has just general scene breakdowns, and then like. A few sentences for each beat that we need to get to, and then also with kind of an idea of maybe the joke that needs to yeah. land at a minimum. Yeah, right? we'll tell them at the front and sit down with them. This is what happens: you're a tiny turtle, and then a fro a mechanical frog. Which we've heard rumors by. about. Maybe that's probably similar to what a Curb Your Enthusiasm yes. looks like. Yeah. yeah, that's what we heard. Mark Duplass was on the league, and that show is very similar in uh -huh. that kind of case. Right. So he was able to transpose a lot of stuff from that into our show. But yeah, we're in the booth. That's one of the main selling points of yeah. Starburns I think in general is you guys have the biggest, biggest booth um, <laughs> which is so insane it's a you big can booth. Fit. we've had eight people in there how big is recording the booth? at once how big is the like, booth like like ha like from the stage even bigger than that probably damn. from that thing to that damn, it's that's huge, a huge big dude. booth that's yeah. actually yeah. a big booth yo. Big ass that booth. is a you big, know big why? booth that is a big that is a big you know why? Because I, big in my biopic, when I'm starting my studio, and I'm going like, I want the booth to be big. And they're like, well, then the sound camera, like, sound is everything. Podcasts are everything. We need a podcast-friendly booth. Put partitions yeah. in on wheels if the people need yeah. to be compressed. I was like, and I want wait, these wait, rivets. Wait, wait, I want these rivets to be flush, 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 flush. What, what and actor? The best booth in the fucking city. What actor is playing you? Too. What he actor did. is playing you? What country or, or uh, Leo part? DiCaprio? So he did an accent to uh, make sure he's nominated for something. <laughs> Even even though I'm not Southern, he just did, did he had win? to add something. Did Leo win? Yeah. Did we know? He did. He really? won Best Actor for Revenant. Wow. Oh wow! Also, who gives a shit? That's true too. Fuck him. Well, so Tom Fuck Hardy that. must who, be pissed though. He's like, I did the exact same thing he did for an entire movie. <laughs> uh, who who won Best Director? Uh, yeah, in utero. Uh, really? Yeah. Wait, who was it? A Revenant Mexican dude. One? Oh boy. <laughs> Revenant, dude. This guy's so sullen. It's okay, this guy. Oh, the Revenant okay. guy. So that you, the, you said racist earlier, and now you said Mexican, and you've got a Shouting sullen, handsome Stephane. Latino vibe to you. <laughs> you're like, and you're, I appreciate it. Thank you. What, uh, a, wait, who who won the? Who's the best director? Oh, the, the, is it the Revenant guy? Yes. Yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah, and that is a. Uh, he did the. Uh, what what else did he do? He did the. Birdman. I'm pointing. I'm pointing at the Latino guy. What, what else did your friend do? Okay. Uh, how do? He's getting I, up. Gotta, He's getting I got. I got something here to say. So how do you? How does Mad Max get best production designer, best sound, best editing, best uh, this, best this, sweeps everything? And the guy that told all those people to do that, the director. <laughs> Doesn't get best director. How the fuck does that happen? Mm, good point. Because you're still accountable if people think you're a prick, so watch it. Ooh. Yeah. Good point, too. No, no, I don't think Ooh. anyone thought George Miller was a prick. It I thought that I would get a laugh. Sense. I thought I would get a laugh. It make any sense. Fuck you. You just saw. being manipulatable. You, you guys just saw right now uh, what a producer is and what a director is. <laughs> <laughs> 
Very uh, true. Very true. Very true. Uh, but so, okay. So, what, what, yeah. What? And what? What's the other movie? The the. Uh, Birdman. 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 God damn it. Yeah. Gravity. Birdman. Birdman. Gravity. Yeah. No. He's he's awesome. Gravity but, uh, sucks. Uh, <laughs> I think. Uh, yeah. I think there needs to be a new stereotype about uh, uh, Mexican directors. Yeah. Is it is Alma Dovar is Mexican, right? Is he? Yeah. Or is he Spanish? Okay. See? New stereotype. Let's start it. Mexicans, great directors. <laughs> Although a lot They have of, an extra muscle in their eyeball. A, a, a lot oh of... Boy. A lot of... Uh, Mexico's sending a lot of the rapist directors up here. <laughs> I'm sure, yes, Mexicans, great directors. And I'm sure some of them are nice people. Yeah. Yeah. A, a lot of rapists. Uh, a lot of criminals. We have to put a director-sized not... hole in a wall around America. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> there needs to be yes. a director-shaped gonna, hole we're gonna in that build wall. A, we're going to build a beautiful lens. It's going to be a very, through. very, very good lens. I'm yeah. going to talk to the best lens makers ever. And I'm a negotiator. I've yes. done a very good job. I've made lenses for things. I've gotten awards for they're seeing. Is this, is this Leo DiCaprio playing this character too? Yeah. This, I'm a, Leo DiCaprio in Trump. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh my God. I'm going to very, very do the thing. Uh, Spencer, who would, who would you cast as Dan Harmon in the Dan Harmon biopic? Judd Apatow. <laughs> Be the actor? He, I think he has the chops. <laughs> yeah, about, but I think Robert Downey Jr. is just go with the go with the obvious choice. Yeah, yeah. Dan, There's stop no shame and stop being a producer choice. for one second. Let, let, just, uh, it just seems go with RDJ if if, if it works. Mike, if it's obvious. Mike and Phil, who, who would you who would you cast uh, as like uh, as Dan Harmon if you had to make a biopic? If you had anybody you wanted, all the budget. <laughs> You know, for people who have an improvised show, we should have had a joke ready at hand. I was uh, I was looking for Andy Garcia route. Back well, let's bring it but... into your wheelhouse. But what animal should I play when I do your show? Oh yeah. Well, it's got to be New York City it. based. Probably a dog. Like some sort of like your Ooh, dog. That'd like, be good. Like which uh, golden doodle? Yeah, that'd be fun. I'm in. Although let's I'm, do it. Spiritually, I am. Not that this would make it a funny sketch, just to make me. But a sea otter. I've always seen myself Ooh. as a sea otter. Yeah. And they float on their back and they eat food on their stomach and then. <laughs> And they're just like, yeah, so like, and they, but they don't build dams, but they're almost they're almost beavers, but yeah. they don't work that hard, and they're just like, what's that? Yeah, when they have sex, they uh, grab onto the female's nose and rip off their nose sometimes. Yeah. Wow! Whoa! Nice. I hate when that Kinky. happens. Otters so, do that? <laughs> some, uh, okay, they, uh, they rip off the so woman's. They, they rip off their, their woman's snout. snout? They grab on because they're swimming. Right. right. They, they should stop swimming and just fuck. <laughs> Hold on, baby. Do that shit on dry land, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like swim right. to shore and start doing... Don't have to be batting on the nose and shit. Get on the beach. Yeah. <laughs> Do that otter fuck and start swimming. Well, I'm pretty, swimming, I'm, trying to swim fuck, man. Rob, Rob, Rob Get has, on the beach. Rob has a five-minute stand-up set about otters. Uh, it's just pretty good. <laughs> I'll bite in the nose. Get on the beach and fuck. Why are beach. you... Fucking in the water. Get on the beach and fuck. We didn't have more out of nose. Yeah. Per capita. Dan, I'm sorry. I think Rob's got the part. That was pretty. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Make him an otter. Make him the otter. Rob just had to hit for the otter and got the part. Uh, I'll be a, I'll be a golden doodle. I'm fine. Would you, what, 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 what do you, any, anything else you guys want to pump out? Because the thing is, I gotta, I got There's another guy that I gotta get up here. Um, so. Just, you know, let's know watch that. the ever, if you could, it's on HBO Go, it's on HBO Now, it comes out a day before Fridays, so every Thursday, if you're at work or whatever, there's a new episode out, and I think our show's gonna have to be a word of mouth sort of thing, <laughs> yes. so the more, <laughs> just read those some stuff, yeah, we just need cool people to tell other this cool people it. about this it. This is the room we want. I know it's on HBO, we but we're guys. not getting enough stuff. It's not for old people, it's for it's young people. It's not for old people. Get two seasons if they get three. That's helpful for everybody because yeah, yeah. it's like actually like just like it is a really funny show and it's like everybody having fun and it's awesome and yeah. it's like yeah. And so. we get to hire yeah we get to hire all these awesome cool people who all have their fingerprints on the show and we all get to work. We music people too. We got Curvile, yeah, ASAP Rocky, ASAP Ferk. Um, yeah, so it's a fun eclectic mix. <laughs> what, what style? What nice. style of animation is it? Like, how are you doing it? We're doing it in um, uh, harmony, and it's it's uh, people call it like lo-fi because the mouths don't move or anything, and it's kind of stop motiony in a way. But um, it's a really weird 
eclectic mix. Like some of our backgrounds are photorealistic looking. It's a mixture of high art and low art. High art. Uh, <laughs> little on the nose. Crazy, little on the nose. Like a beaver, like uh, a we'll sea otter having sex. Yeah, little yeah, on, yeah, on yeah. the nose. It was a little on the nose. <laughs> Thank you. All right, well, thanks. Thanks, thanks so much, guys. Phil. Thank you, guys. Mike Watch and Phil from Adam on HBO. Fridays at 11.30. It's on slightly earlier on HBO Go, and, and then that drives traffic to the HBO Go Plus turnstile, which makes a wheel spin, which I think Universal then makes a chicken pop an egg, and then you get a free dough. Dan, pop quiz. Who was the one sitting closer to you? Okay, I got to flip it, because, okay, uh... It was... This was Phil. Right. Yeah. You did it. Yeah. But I had to flip it three times to remember it. 